Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry, and it's time, once again, to update my journal, because I haven't played Planescape Torment in far too long. Quick recording check, which will cut off audio for a moment, possibly there. Uh, so I apologise in advance, I've been playing a lot of Erratus, and the apology is mainly to my Erratus viewers, because yes, unfortunately I do actually play other games, and I'd like to get back to them once in a while. Don't worry, Eratus has not been abandoned. Just because I finished the floor and moved on to the next one, I'll be getting back to it soon, quite possibly tomorrow or the next day. But for now, it's time for some more torment. Now, why was I heading north? Because as far as I can tell, I was delivering the box. Yes, the puzzle box. The what's in the box box. Yeah. And, um, if I'm not very much mistaken, they're somewhere in the southwestern section of the hive. So why are we heading northeast? Well, I believe at one point I did say I wanted to go to the Gathering Dust Bar. So emblematic of the game, All in right. fact, that... Oh, yes, yes, because uh, Initiate Emmerich should be in here. Also, there's this zombie just standing out in the open with people just hanging around. I mean, that whore must get loads of business with this dead, hot, rotting hunk of flesh right next to her. Uh, or not, as the case might be. I mean, it's a bit of a passion killer, isn't it? Right, let's go take a look at this zombie, interestingly called The Post. This filthy-looking corpse is in sad shape. Its shoulders are slumped and one of its legs is broken, causing it to lean on one side. Or lean to one side. Stains cover it from head to toe. Judging from the smell and the texture, the stains run from rotten fruit to mud and bird droppings. To add to the... I thought we didn't have a sense of smell. That was established earlier on, wasn't it? Or no, well, Mort doesn't. <laughs> To add to the indignity, graffiti has been carved into its body and several notices have been nailed into its chest, back and head. And I thought I was in bad shape. Don't all those nails hurt? Corpse makes spots unsurprisingly. Let's take a closer look at it. Despite the many stitches, the corpse's rotting skin is peeling in several places, revealing long stretches of muscle and bone. You guess that this zombie is frequently used as target practice. The fruit and mud stains aside, some of the tears in the skin still have rocks and bits of glass lodged in them. One wicked-looking cobblestone is still embedded in the side of its head. You know, let, let's do him a favour here. Let's pull that out, out and hope his head doesn't fall apart or something, because that's the kind of thing that's happened with a lot of these skeletons and zombies so far. You grab a hold of the cobblestone and pull it out of the corpse's head. Traces of brain matter and rotting flesh slowly drip from it. It looks like whatever it was in its head turned to ooze long ago. Oh dear, well... But we could examine it again, and I suppose the only difference would be the pebble isn't in the side of its head. Did we get the pebble? We, we did get an item. Interesting. Let's examine the other notices. A number of leaflets have been ruined by rain, but some of them are still legible. One tacked to its back is for something called the Office of Vermin and Disease Control. Indeed, we could have found out about that from here. The one on his forehead reels like, reads like a, sorry, looks like a bill of fare for a restaurant. One on his chest looks like an official notice, and another appears to be some sort of wanted ad. All right. Um, let's see what the official documentation on the Office of Vermin and Disease Control has to say. To those Hive citizens wishing gainful employ with the most honourable and generous sigil government, inquire forthwith at Office of Vermin and Disease Control to help stem plague of brain rats. Bounties paid. Copper given for each rat tail brought. 
tails must be genuine and from rat only. No cat, dog or fiend tail accepted. <laughs> Office several streets south and west of Mortuary Gate in Lower Hive. Ask for official inspector in charge the respected Phineas T. Lort the 39th. Right, yes, let's take a look at the other notices. While he is official, his spelling is atrocious. Bill of Fare. Someone has posted a bill of fare for the Gathering Dust Bar, but the bill of fare cannot be read, as the words Smouldering Corpse Bar have been scrawled in charcoal over the bill. The Smouldering Corpse Bar? I mean, we'd be in there, but Mort might say something amusing about it. The zombie immediately jerks its left arm upwards and points far to the southeast. A moment later, the arm falls back to its side with a thump. It gives directions. I'd honestly forgotten it gives directions. Reminds me of a job I once had. He seems embarrassed. Well, I mean, uh, without the arms. Hmm, I, I wonder if this would work with the other notices. Let's look at the official notice. Public notice. By the order of the Judiciary Council and in accordance with the citizenry of Sigil, let it be known those defacing a registered servant of the dustman, either by graffiti, malicious attack, or by posting notices, will constitute felonious assault, and the perpetrator will be answerable for the vandalism of said servant by the order of the Hall of Speakers. Okay, so I can't ask it where the order of the Hall of Speakers is. That's probably wise. And then there's this wanted ad. Wanted. Able-bodied person willing to investigate a matter of the utmost importance to the dustman cause. We'll also we'll, we'll offer suitable compensation upon successful completion of said task. Interested parties inquire with initiate Norok J Gathering Dust Bar. We should probably ask about that. In the Gathering Dust Bar. The zombie immediately jerks its left arm towards upwards and points west to a building before you. A moment later, the arm falls back to its side with a thump. Uh, thanks, I think we're done here. Let's go inside, though. So, Initiate Norok and Initiate Emmerich may be of import here. Chief, what are we doing in here? Let's say we just give this place the laugh, all right? You know what, you got a very good point, but there might be something interesting over here. Hey, there's this bloke called Norokj. Norokj. Very hard to pronounce. You see a spindle-thin dustman in dirty black robes. His stiff black hair springs forth from his skull like a crown of spikes, and his leper-white skin is drawn sharply across his skull. He is frowning into his drink and mumbling to himself. Well, greetings. The dustman looks up at you, blinks once, then looks you up and down, studying you. As he studies you, he takes one of his spiked locks and points at himself with it. Not Oj. Initiate. Dustman. Guard. Uh, I, I'm here about the, the uh, posting outside. The dustman looks you up and down. Many troubles have I. Help, can you? A mausoleum awakes. The dead walk. The dead disturbed. The dustman disturbed. Find out what disturbs the undead, and copper coins will I pay. Oh, very well. Where is this mausoleum? I bet it's just north of here, that place I was trying to get into earlier. Updated my journal. Norokj nods. Mausoleum by Dustman Memorial. Go north and west from Black Monument. Go to Arch and a semicircle over your heart with this finger, this make. He wiggles the pointer finger on his right hand. To the mausoleum, go you will. To the mausoleum, go you will. Hmm, Norok give job to. I'll look into it then. Farewell. I think I might be going to that mystery. Oh, hello. He's right. called awaiting death. He must be old and tired of life. Dustman old tired of life. What am I about? Before you is a young dustman with stubble on his chin and dark circles beneath his eyes. He is staring at the wall with a somber expression. Why, hello there. 
The dustman doesn't look up. He stares straight ahead as if he is seeing something several leagues beyond the walls of the bar. Uh, ca can I ask you some questions? The dustman doesn't respond. He keeps staring into the distance. Alrighty then, Mort hisses at you. Uh, so, this game actually came out, I believe... Wait, no, I could be wrong. When did Ace Venturia come out again? Uh, I think this game... Well, I hadn't seen Ace Ventura by the time this game came out, but I might have not seen it till a few years after it came out anyway, so who knows. Might be worth looking up. Alrighty then, Mort hisses at you. Let's go, Chief. This dusty might as well be fertilizer. Fair enough, let's get out of here. As you turn to leave, the dustman suddenly speaks. His voice barely a murmur. You have to strain to hear the words. Oh! That reminds me, uh, yeah. I was, uh... I was play I was recording at a higher game volume for Eratus. Hopefully I have adjusted that now and it should be back to normal again. I might have been drowned out by game music, but please do let me know. And also, hopefully, it won't have messed with the recording, changing the volume now. You think he said something about wanting to die? What did you say? The boy's expression does not flicker. Do you want to die? Um. I, I really don't know. Do you want to die? Yes. Why do you want to die? This existence... This existence is a mockery of life. I do not wish to continue the charade any longer. His face wrinkles in disgust. Why would anyone wish to remain in this foul city in the center of a multiverse that feeds on pain and hatred? Death is silent, comforting. I wonder if that's a Hamlet reference. The end is silence. It could actually be. You never know with this game. Um. Well, that's a rather bleak outlook, you know. There, there's a lot more to life than pain and hatred. This is living. He bares his teeth and his hands clench. This existence. This existence is a mockery of life. I do not wish to continue the charade any longer. Death is silent. Comforting. He's almost like a Kafar. You'll notice the lack of a pause between death and is this time. He's speeding it up, drawing closer to his conclusion. Trust me. Trust me, it is not. The boy seems irritated by the comment. And how do you know? I probably shouldn't say this line. I, I think I've died before. I don't remember much about it, though. I'm in a bar full of dustmen who believe that the dead should stay dead. Apart from the people who have signed contracts to have their corpses animated and work for the dustmen forever. Hmm. No, I'm probably not going to say that. I, I don't know. But I've yet to see what lies beyond death and remember it. If I die again, perhaps I could speak of it. Oh, that is better, because that implies I might not have died. The dustman blinks and sneers. You lie. No man can die more than once, not without being resurrected by mighty magics. Well, maybe he can die twice if his name is Mr. Bond. Uh huh. This is. Wait a minute, so, right, I can get him to kill me, and then I can walk back in and talk to him again later and see how he responds. But will this turn into a fight? Because I don't want to kill him. Try and kill me then. 
see what happens. He looks at you skeptically. Nay, I think not, even if I felt the urge to do so. Bloody hell, am I gonna kill myself in front of him? Uh, If fear and hesitation govern all, govern all your actions, I doubt this existence holds much joy. This existence. This existence is a mockery of life. I do not wish to continue the charade any longer. His face wrinkles in disgust. Why would anyone wish to remain in this foul city in the center of the multiverse that feeds on pain and hatred? Death is silent. Comforting. I'll, I'll just uh, take my leave. Farewell for now. I may return. We shall see. Now, Anisha Emmerich is somewhere around here. I must be careful. Mortai Gravesend is named Seer of a Skeptic. Okay. Old Copper Eyes. So there are many named individuals here, and it might be nice to come back at some later point, but let's, for now, meander the room. There's the man we came to see. Let's not harass the nice zombies, they're just doing their job. You see a heavy set man with dark skin and grim features. He is dressed in dunceman's robes and <coughs> is regarding you with a stony gaze. Greetings. You have the look of one lost. The man's voice is like stone settling. Oh, damn it, I can't do a proper gravelly voice without drinking lots of water or having like an entire bowl full of baked beans or something. Yeah, so it's all about retaining the moisture and liquid <laughs> in the throat and not swallowing from the last few mouthfuls properly. And then it just, and then you can burble, you know. You have the look of one lost. The man's voice is like stone settling. Did the wind send you? Or are you here with purpose? Who are you? I am Emmerich. Factotum, an initiate of the fourth circle. Is this your bar? If you measure ownership in copper, this is not my establishment. If you measure ownership in spirit, it is mine. He pauses as if trying to emphasize a point. The dustmen here are my students. They are under my protection. Can I ask you some questions? Emmerich waits. Can you tell me about the Dustman faction? Dustman seek the true death. Some call it oblivion, but this is incorrect. To Dustman, the true death is freedom from the chains of this false life. I see, I had some other questions. I'm searching for a man named Farad. Well, no. I've come here in search of a journal. These eyes have seen no journal. Perhaps your search will take you elsewhere. Very well. And before I go, I'm also searching for a man named Farron. Have you seen him? I would know why you seek the collector Farron. Well, I strongly suspect he stole some things from me. I wish to speak to him. Why? Is there something wrong? To come across as innocent, that would probably help. The Collector Farod has brought many corpses to the mortuary of late. One must ask where these bodies are from. Tell me more about the bodies. Some are recent dead. They still have their last moments in their eyes. Many more bodies are centuries dead. The dust of ages lies upon their bones. 
One must ask where these bodies are from. Perhaps I could find out where these bodies are from. How would you do such a thing? Well, I, I'll track down Farod and ask him. If you spoke with the Collector Farod and returned with his answers, you would have done a great service to the dustman. Find where the dead he brings to us are from, and you will be rewarded. Very well, I will find Farod and speak to him and find out where these dead bodies he brings you are from. I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell you. That might put me in a lot of danger. Emmerich nods. Your path is our path. Return here when you have Collector Farod's answers. Uh, can you tell me where he is? It is not known to me where the Collector Farod is. He hides from the eyes of the dustman. I would seek other collectors and ask them your question. It is not known to you. Have you been talking to Dakon recently? He's really into knowing things, you know. Uh, all right, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do then. Farewell for now. Oh, hello. Barrels? I am a thief after all, allegedly. Oh, this one's empty. So is this. This looks like a mirror, but there's no refre reflection of a bar in it. Intriguing. So I had this nice idea for a magical mirror, magic item, that I would place in a role-playing game that I haven't used yet. Uh, the idea being that it is a cursed magical mirror, or specially enchanted, and it hangs in a wizard's office in a magical school or university. And the curse, or magics woven into the mirror, are such that when someone looks into the mirror, they see everything reflected as normal, but their reflection is missing. They are incapable of seeing their own reflection in the mirror. Now, when most people look into the mirror for the first time, they will react in some way to their reflection being missing. And the wizard uses this mirror for the detection of vampires. However, he also likes to keep it as a practical joke to um, to scare the newfound apprentices when they all come in to see him. Because of course, when a group of apprentices come in, each apprentice will see all the other apprentices reflected, but their own reflection will be missing. And the wizard will give his little lecture on how vampires cast no reflection and just have a little fun with his students and then you know teasingly say well of course I'm glad that you all reacted with shock and horror to your reflections being missing because that means you are not up? a vampire a vampire would of course be used to casting no reflection and would not be surprised by this at all I imagine he'd also have other amusing magic items in his office um, but it's a fun magic item right uh, it might have been created as a gift for a particularly vain person who was constantly looking at their reflection in a mirror to punish them for always looking at their reflection. It might have been a joke played upon this particular wizard. I don't know, but I like it and I'm going to use it at some point. And any of you out there who play role-playing games or run role-playing games, feel free to use that magic item in one of your games if you like and just see how players react. Now, the reason I didn't talk to everyone else in the Gathering Dust Bar, apart from the fact that it would take a lot of time, is that I can now probably enter this location here. And when I'm finished here, I can go back there and question other dustmen. Now, oh hello, Guardian Spirit. This spectral figure materializes from the gloom of the passageway ahead and moves quickly to block your path. It floats before you, its once human features twisted in a mask of rage. Defilers! Leave this place at once! Uh, uh, hello there. Leave now! Its booming voice echoes down the halls. This place is forbidden to the living. Leave while you still can. I'm not going to antagonize him, but I have some questions first, because he might actually listen to them. 
Seek your answers elsewhere. This place is a sanctuary for the dead. I shall not permit their slumber to be disturbed by the intrusion of yet another insolent mortal. Another? Has someone else been here? See, that's a way in. That's a way in to... I don't mean a way into here, I mean a way into getting to talk to him, right? Has someone else been here? You must know. Yes. There is another intruder who, even now, continues to violate the sanctity of these hallowed halls. The anger in the spirit's voice fades. He seems somewhat saddened by the admission. The souls of my... Brothers and sisters, cry out for peace. Who is this other intruder? He is an evil coward who wields great power over the dead. He seeks something within these walls. What it might be, or what his purpose is in seeking it, I cannot say. Why don't you drive this intruder away? I cannot. A coward has sealed himself within the inner chamber of the mausoleum. He has erected powerful wards that bar my entrance into the chamber. It is from there that he calls upon his dark arts to awaken my brethren and bends them to his evil will. Sounds to me as if you need the help of one intruder to get rid of another. The spirit remains silent for several long moments. You can almost feel the weight of his lifeless gaze upon you. Yes. You might prevail where I have failed. If you will pledge to rid me of this blackguard, I shall grant you passage. What say you? Uh, so first off, for those of you watching, uh, yes, the word is pronounced blackguard and not blackguard. Uh, blackguard, it was actually for the a term used for the stable boys who would literally be black, just covered in horse shit from mucking up the stables. And their clothes would just be so dirty and filthy that they were, became, you know, gained the nickname for Black Guard, which then eventually became reduced to Blackguard. Because posh people like to, uh, to take the syllables out of word and speak things and run it all together. So yes, it is a horrible lot. Awful lot smelling Blackguard out there in the courtyard. Ugh, he's at it again. Uh, so that's how the etymology for word evolved. Uh, it has since come to mean someone with no honour, someone despicable, lowly, uh, dishonourable, dishonest, a filthy, dirty, stinky stable hand who just looks after the horses a bit. I shall do it. Updated my journal. So be it. The spirit slowly begins to fade until only the echoing of his disembodied voice remains. But take heed. Tread lightly in these halls, lest you join the others in eternal rest. So. We. Done. Are going to use some special skills. Somewhere around here is going to be a button. I would like to detect some traps. What's up? Okay. Endure. Your will be done. Because if memory serves me correct, All right. there were a lot of traps in these halls. Now, unfortunately, our find and remove trap skill is only at 36%. Yikes. It would be very nice if we could gain another level, but that's a lot of points away. In fact, the most likely to gain a level first, I believe, is Mort. Uh, no. Uh, 22.18 would be 44.46. Okay, no, so it'll be Darkon who'll get a fighter level. And in that much experience, we will have gained a level of our own. Now, I'm going to be a bit sneaky here. I remember the traps tended to be on one side or other. If you see, imagine a central line down here, and each of these plates is divided into two 
parts. The traps tend to rarely run across the entirety of a plate. So I'm going extremely slowly in the hope yeah. of passing sure, why not? fine traps check. I hear your word. I shall serve. Done. So I'm going to go down to here and completely fail to find everything. I believe I can leave this area and come back at any time that I wish. But I'm trying to be sneaky and find some traps. The traps were, I believe, placed here by the creators of the tomb rather than the intruder. He might have placed them, as I seem to recall them all being magical in nature. Huh? Right, you too. Sure, why not? I will hear you. Follow I shall up. serve. I'm gone. Now that's interesting. Those two paths may connect. In a way, I, I rather hope they don't. Now, there is no modifier on these percentile rolls for thief skills. So it's literally a 36% chance. Sure, why not? Balance your will. It's be not done. like some traps will be easier or harder to find. I'm gone. So while I can expect to find approximately one in three traps, the reality is that I may very well find none because I don't have a very good chance yet. However, it's the only chance I have. Should I go sneaky as well to avoid detection? I think that would probably. Play of shadows. Oh, I can't do both at the same time? Okay. I spotted a trap. I found a trap. Excellent. Well, I will zigzag up to it anyway, just in case. Done. Now, it is I. Your how confident do I feel? Well, apparently Darkon feels a lot less confident in me than Mort at the moment. I think All right. I'm going to try. And that's not how I disarm a trap. Would it be use thief skills by any chance? It probably would. That was dumb. Oh well. So, the fact that um, the What's search the word, for traps okay. is made Endure, I shall serve. I get more than one chance. Now, typically, I should only get one opportunity to find each trap. Done. But I think the game is kind and allows me multiple chances. Therefore, a low chance to find a trap still gives me, you know, the multiple attempts. It's like, yeah, it's going to happen eventually. Now, good as this done. would be a good opportunity to talk your about character be classes. Done. Because the Nameless One I'm can, of course, play three different character classes. And my general approach goes something like this. You know, he can play fighter, magic user, or thief. Oh, hello. Well, I should obviously... Yeah. Can I insult you? I mean, I shouldn't be able to, but it might work. I will hear you. Your Don't want to follow you, witless ape. Huh? Let's try again. I mean, this should fail completely, right? Because Balance in all things. An insult what? shouldn't really work on something that doesn't really have a brain. Done. Back to trap detecting because I strongly suspect there's a trap around here. Good as done. It is I. Your path is mine. 
I'm gone. Oops. Okay, so we took a hit there. But we can take that hit. Because we regenerate. All right. Now, I'm not going to advance towards the enemies because there could be traps. Now, you see that? this I'm might gone. be one of those games where enemies don't set off traps. Oh, leg bone club, sure. That reminds me. We got a cobblestone. This is a polished cobblestone that is that was lodged in the zombie's skull. It still has traces of brain matter dripping from it. Okay, so it's just a thing. We might be able to sell it. All right. So I should continue searching for traps. I think I can afford to stroll about a bit more now. What's the word, what? Chief? Just try insulting. I don't expect it to work. Don't get a bone, you witless ape. Wait, did that actually... Huh. I don't like the way we all move to its final destination, to a it there rather than move to intercept. That feels very artificial. Because, right. we, well, we can probably see where it's going. We can't see that well. I think there's another trap somewhere around here. So I should be careful of that. What's up? Sure, why not? I recognize that sound. I think I hear the flapping of Varg words. All right. Do I? This feels dumb. Um. Rags. Uh, cleaning rags. Uh, I don't think I should rob this place. I, I have normal rags. That's fine. Vargwuls, also known as bloody difficult to pronounce monsters. We used to call them Vargwuls for ages. Uh, yeah. I think they Good might be a ancient monster is mine. that I do not know of much huh? folklore okay. to support them. That being said, if I'm it gone. were Chonchons, which are like a Polynesian thing, then yes, there is folklore to prove. Uh, the Chonchon is like a bit like the Penangalan, except the Penangalan is the, the head of a woman that rips itself from a body and takes the spinal column and all the guts with it, and flies around at night murdering people. Whereas the Chonchon is like a large disembodied, I think, male head that has very big ears and flies around flapping its ears as wings. Crazy, I know. Oh, you know what? That Chonchon is really nice, but... I don't think... Look, we might anger the Guardian Spirit if we plunder these vaults. Then again, I imagine he'll just be grateful to see the intrusion and the intruders removed. What? Sure, why not? I also I will believe there's bonus experience serve. points for disabling traps. Look, this is my, my first time as a thief, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm being thorough and paranoid and subtle, allegedly, in theory, a little bit. Not that subtle, really. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, hello. Whoa! Trap detector. Ah, we can do about 11 copper What's comments. Up, chief? Okay. Balance, your will be done. I'm gone. Now remember, we only have a 36% trap detection chance. And that is going to be... And I'm actually paying attention to the time now. I have no idea how long I've been recording. This is going to be a fun episode, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Because, I mean, I could play this game for absolutely... I, I looked at the time briefly when I started recording, but I didn't pay attention to it. Um, I could okay. play this game for it hours I, without stopping, done. but obviously done. that could make for some very long episodes, and I probably shouldn't do that, because I shouldn't flip that on you guys, surely. Okay, maybe if I start taking diagonal um, passes, something tells me that won't be very wise, though. What's up? Or if I just 
select all and just... I'm gone. Whoa. Take it nice and slow. Am I still? Yes, I am. Good. Done. Oh, hello, monsters. We're going to unmonster you in the not too distant yeah. future, but for now. Oh. Endure. Uh, enduring grow strong. I'm holding off on using any of Dakon's spells at the moment. So more to the latest one are grow. taking the majority of the damage here. I while Dakon deals it. Damn. Mort because he has very high damage reduction. And the nameless one because he regenerates. And should be detecting traps at the moment, Done. even though he's not necessarily very good at it just yet. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how often the detect traps checks are made. I imagine it might be like every six seconds, every 30 seconds or something, I don't know. And I'm also not sure what the range on it is. Oh yeah, so I was talking about character classes, right? Fighter. Well, Mort's a fighter, Darkon's a fighter, I believe we're gonna... Uh, um, Anna might be a fighter, as well as a thief, and then there's uh, another character called Valor, who I haven't even met yet, but um, he's a fighter, apparently, and then um, that's, that's a lot of fighters I can have in the party, right? Uh, thieves. Well, there's Anna, she's a thief, and um, there's Anna. Oh yeah, and I think Anna's a thief as well. Uh, apparently uh, Nordom, if we ever get him eventually, is a thief as well, but not that many thieves. So okay, we could be a thief every now and then, right? And for magic users, we have Dakon, but Dakon is a multi-class character, so he's not going to get that many levels as a magic user. And then there's, uh, well, there's a character I don't want to mention yet, because it's a bit of a spoiler. Those of you who know the game will know who I'm talking about. Um, you might even imagine there's a music festival film named after him. Ah, uh, but I think there's another trap coming up soon, somewhere around here maybe? I'd, I'd be pleased to be wrong. Uh, and so when it comes to magic users, there's... Uh, well, Darkon is like a half magic user as opposed to a full one. Um, there is another one who can join the party, but he has a very limited repertoire. And I think that's probably it for magic users, actually. We... Basically, if we want a versatile magic user who can use lots of different spells, it's probably going to be the nameless one. And I will happily enjoy playing that class. But I'll have to get to it, obviously. And I will say, the quest to become a magic user in this game is really nicely done. It's one of my favourite quests in the entire game. And I like that. Hello there, enemies. Oh, you're coming one at a time? How considerate of you. We'll just bash your skull in. Now... When the Guardian Spirit said that, all right. you know, all the dead here are being animated and controlled, I'd completely forgotten they were going to be like skeletons. I was expecting them to be like, you know, ghosts. Incorporeal creatures, but we would really struggle to damage. And that could still be the case, so I'll have to be very careful about that. I wonder if there's a hot all right. to select all characters. That would be really helpful, wouldn't it? Again, we'll let him come on his own, so that we don't have to walk forwards too much and trigger traps. Interestingly, he does appear to be taking... Well, no, he might be taking reduced damage due to damage resistance. Uh, damage... 
All right. Yeah. What is he doing? He is flailing at a, a unbelievable frame rate. Okay, you. Reluctantly, we did what needed to be done. All right. That was a that's a brave move, but I'm getting a little more confidence now. After that one first trap, and I know there are more in here. Okay. I'm gone. I know. I don't believe any of them bottleneck places where where there's only one panel to walk on. I'm not going to touch those bandages, although it's a nice idea. So, for example, here, I don't think there's going to be one here on any of these three panels. A heart charm. Can I remember what they do? Oh, they're good. Ah... Uh. Nothing bad happened just yet. 27 hit points. So, heal 27 hit points, reduces fatigue, plus 10% resistance to slashing and attacks, and plus 20% to piercing attacks resistance. For more, that would be ridiculous. And this one can be used by anyone. This glistening drop of blood is as hard and smooth as a pearl. When placed on the tongue, it dissolves instantly and spreads through the user's veins and heart. The heart charm is more powerful than the blood and clot charms, and it heals a number of wounds instantly, even serious or critical injuries. Furthermore, the user will also gain a rush of energy, removing any fatigue they will be otherwise feeling. Right. I want to place this on the nameless one. Wait, charm infinite recall, set loss, oh right, that's a big identifier or something like that. Um, I'll give this to... Dark on for now, but I want to give it to the nameless one after one of these slots fills up, empties up, because he has the lowest armor class, so he's the most likely to be hit by various nasty conditions like fatigue, for example. And if I then go to here, keep working away. So, the plan is work my way around the outside of the map, then come in. There will be other traps. I seem to recall there being three or four traps down here. I think I hear... I heard a footstep up ahead there for a moment, but... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big-ass skeleton. Ooh, Damn it. I like the big metallic clangs we strike it. Uh, yeah, um, about the... Through. I'm gone. Leg it! Paper leg it! Leg it, Expeditor! Yeah, you guys just keep hitting it while it tries to work out a way to get to me. That's totally fine. I'm very pleased with that. Don't get to loot it, unfortunately, but I'm very pleased. Here sounds, I think, off this way. But I should be careful. Especially my current wounded condition. Is this a. Oh! That's a. Mausoleum in a chamber. Well, I obviously shouldn't go there just yet. I should Good explore done. this area. I will hear you. Your will be done. And by fully, I mean all right. very fully. I mean, look, I've got all these bits to explore. I've got to have fun with this, right? And if we all come up to here, that would be very nice.
there's I'm those gone. flappy sounds again. I spotted a trap. Oh, that's a big ass trap, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah. Thirty-six percent, guys. Traps disarmed. Don't even ask how I did that, okay? Because I haven't got a clue. But I'm very pleased that I did. What's up, Chief? Sure, why not? Balance. Your path is mine. Alright. So, also, another thing about the free classes is the thief can do stuff with traps and be sneaky, steal stuff off people. The fighter can wear armor and use weapons. Yeah, in this game, the nameless one doesn't get to wear armor. In fact, virtually the only thing he ever gets to wear in the armor slot is like the dustman robes. Uh, there might be a few other disguises he gets to wear, but he's basically a fighter with no armor. Which, essentially, might as well not be a fighter. And the magic user doesn't get to wear armor at all. Hey, guess what the nameless one can't do? You know what I'm saying? So, it makes sense. The magic user just seems like the best class for him to be. And speaking of being... Hello there, skeleton. Would you like to be pounded into dust? You would. You and your companion. Hey, yeah, you as well. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten about you. Did you see that? Just Done. in case there's another trap. I don't think we're in. Hey, hey, you two, are you coming down here or what? Yeah, come, come down and fight. Come on. We'll kill you, don't worry. Well, not kill, you're already dead, but we'll... We'll lay you to rest, that? let's say. We'll, uh, Disrupt the necromantic energies animating your you see that? carcass, your former All remains. Right. You get the idea. Oh, a silver ring. Oh, sod it. I'm playing a FIFA moment after all. Uh, hey, hey, Mort, could you hold on to that? Great. I'm going to have to start giving some more stuff to Dark on soon, because he has the best carry weight of all of us. Done. Could you guys What's like wait, Chief? Good as done. Here. It is I. Your will be done. I'll, I'll be back soon. I'm gone. Don't worry. I'm just going to check if there's any dangers up this way, and if it blatantly connects to this up here. Because, you know, that would make sense, right? That would make a little bit of sense. And if I can find another trap and disarm it for the experience points, that would be great! So, find and remove traps should be two separate roles. I don't know if this game is treating them as one role, and I'm pretty sure I can fail to disarm them. Also, taking this nice and slow, because I do regenerate at a rate based on Constitution, even though regeneration shouldn't really happen until Constitution 19 or higher for a normal character who's not the nameless one. See, I remember these things from years ago. Facts and figures, numbers. I mean, good God, I, I practically memorized the spell selection from the first edition player's handbook. Yeah, the first edition one, not the second edition one. Um, and that was... Oh, hello. What is this? This is interesting. Where can I go? I shouldn't have done that. I regret it all. I fell down into the deeper bit, didn't I? I should not have come here. But here I am now. I've got to find my way out. This is somehow the same map. Okay, so that miraculously connects to here. Don't ask me how, because I have no idea how or why. But connect it did. I better start looking for traps again. All right. Wait, can I go? Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay, everyone, we're going back. We're going back. Don't ask how or why this connects, but connect it does. Oh, yeah. So if I can get to, like, here, that'd be great. And then I'll have some more exploring to do. Or scouting for trouble. That's I'm going to call it. Okay, I shouldn't stop that. I should start again. I'm gone. 
Well, that was an interesting and exciting little diversion. Also, these look very much like clawing fingers, don't they? I spotted a trap. Oh, hey, excellent. A new trap. Hello, trap. Will you be my friend? Trap's disarmed. Miraculously somehow, yes. Don't even ask. It makes more sense when you try not to understand it. Allegedly. What's up? Good as done. So and once again, I'm sending one to guard each way. Because I'm, I'm trying done. to think a little bit like someone with a bit of it. Oh, hello. Yeah, are you coming to fight or what? You seemed a little reluctant there. So I don't know if this is like some other Black Isle games where the monsters just that? don't trigger the traps. But I think it may very well be, which is why I'm not rushing out to meet them. Also, if I can just pull off one or two at a time, that's great, you know? Look, if you're just gonna stand there and not fight, I'll go this way to scout. Ooh, don't mind me. So I've disarmed three traps on this map so far. I believe there were only three or four. So maybe, and I also think they're not too close together. So I'm just gonna walk up here anyway, just to be safe, and then come back down again. Yeah. Sure, why not? I hear like the Duke your, of your path I'll go mine. up and down. Okay, mate. Be a windmill. Your friend of here is going to be a Hey, do you want some fun? Here's fun. You know fun, right? It's called us hitting you. Nice. Done. Um... I think I shouldn't steal everything from here because the dead might be very ungrateful indeed. I mean, it would be nice if they were grateful dead, but that would be another story, or indeed another song. I'm going to march straight on up here on the assumption there won't be another trap right here, but in this inner section here, that could very well be where I should be expected huh? to find Good is done. I will hear you. I shall serve. Oh, this looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? With these gaps between the plates. I'm gone. Yeah. But so far, you know, we're doing all right for experience. Um, Dakon's hit that wonderful 6,000 mark in each class, so he's three quarters of the way to being a fourth level fighter. All right. Yeah. Group select and move down to here. Done. Uh oh. I I I'll go back. I'll go back. I'll wait here instead. Y you guys, uh, you know, carry on. <laughs> oh man. I is he automatically attacking only the nameless one because he's the main character and the guy is somewhat inconvenienced? That's very. I'm hurt. To an oh, hello. No, just you, mate. Just you. Yep. Leg it. Run for your life. Oh yeah, this this one. Uh, this one has no problems falling, does he? Right. What? Hey you. Okay, we'll we'll run after it then. Balance. Is this for Benny things. Hill Ogres from Dragon Age all over again? All right. I think it really is. It will move a bit, they'll move up, not be able to attack. Look, if I keep running away, give him lots of space to realize that, hey, maybe the other guys are important. And important, not impotent. And then I can come sneaking back and completely fail. Okay, that's all right, never mind. I'm gonna sneak up and stab him in the back. Wait, so I wasn't able to hide successfully there, but I was here. I don't think I should know when I'm hiding. It's like the target knows when I'm hiding successfully. But I don't know, right? I shouldn't know. Now, I could use a healing item here. I really could. But the nameless one is regenerating, right. so why waste a healing item when I'm not in the middle of a fight? 
I could have used one in the middle of that fight. What's up, Chief? Sure, why not? It is I, I shall But serve. I chose to run away instead, in the hope that the enemy would finally target one of All the right. other two. Which it didn't really want to do for most of my flight. Okay, so that looks like it's going to connect up to here. Then that way will be somewhere interesting. Now, if I continue my slow and steady search... Slow and steady, it's like strong and stable government, but not shit. Uh, the word, yeah, Chief. strong and stable sure, government not? sounds really good, Endure. except the person who was Your saying it really done. didn't mean it, and right. it really turned out to be anything but the case. What's up? Okay, okay let's... I let's hear your path here. is mine. All right. Have I been on... No, I haven't. Interesting. I'm going to cut across here and hope for no trapsies. And likewise... Up here. Hey, if I die, I get to go back to the mortuary. Fun times, right? Good old memories. Me, Mort, the cold mortuary slab. Mort believing zombies are checking him out. And I'm I don't gone. mean taking him to a till in a supermarket. Can you imagine Morton to check out supermarket trolley? Yeah, you, you go to the trolley, uh, you go to the, to the till, and the girl looks over and Mort sticks his head up and goes, Hi! And she freaks out and has a heart attack and calls her manager. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Good as done. Hey, is this just a, it's not just a circular path. Okay, I will so we're gonna hear your you path there. is mine. I'm gone. Uh, okay, Darkon, you better come this way. We'll Balance. Be, uh, your will be done. Exploring in this direction for a while. I'm gone. You know, regaining health, checking for traps, checking for traps some more, and, uh, you know, regaining health. And those, those flapping sounds back there, I definitely want to investigate those. Oh dear, I was thinking maybe an episode title for this one, something to do with bones, and I thought, oh, we find ourselves in a rather grave situation here. <laughs> what a pun. What a daft pun. I spotted a trap. And there's possibly the last trap. Uh, yeah, 12 hit points. All right. Maybe. I mean, I can try, right? I can try. Traps disarmed. Miraculously, that actually worked. There may be even more traps, so I should be cautious. He says, clicking ahead hastily, in a not very cautious at all manner. Hmm. Oh, hello, skeleton. You're gonna get bashed. I mean, I probably should switch to the club, actually, but... Hey. In fact, why am I not switching to a club? Does this knife have some bonus to hit or something that I'm ignoring? So the skeleton should be taking half damage from choppy and stabby weapons. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, no bonuses to hit, so... I'm probably better off just walloping it with a crowbar, to be honest. Um, sure. Sure. I have a crowbar after all. Not gonna use it. I'm gone. Yet. I'm not breaking into anything just yet. And here's a skeleton on his way over. Skeleton worker, I think they just copied a generic enemy. I don't think he's actually a worker. Hurt. By some foul necromancer and ow that hurts. And right. I got a point back straight away to make it less hurty. Good. Mm. 
you know. It's kind of hard not to in this case. Hey, more hold those, would you? Um, you know what to do. Be my little servo skull. Huh? Come help fix me up. Be a good skull. It is I. I shall serve. <laughs> Done. And I'll go checking for traps. I believe I've now fully... Wow, and I was just like there going, I'm going to go this way and not that way. Yeah. Have I fully... Yeah, oh, no! No, I have not fully explored this map. Right, okay, you lot. This way, this way, this way, this way. Because there's a dark space around here that needs to be explored. And the longer I spend doing that, as opposed to going into the more dangerous places, the more health I get to replenish. Because that's not gaming the system at all, right? Now, if any of you have played this game in the past, let me know which classes you enjoyed playing as the Nameless One. And, uh, you know, what sort of story beats you enjoy. Well, no, don't, don't give away too much for people who haven't actually played the game before. But... You know, out of the things, all the things we've done so far out here in this portion of the hive, and we've done a fair few, feel free to offer feedback. Also, I will be looking to return that box to, uh, huh, yeah, I, I remember vaguely, well, fairly specifically how that quest ends and how it goes through multiple stages of people not wanting the box back and you're having to like try, try, trace it back you know through through its past owners and they'll be like oh no give it to the person who gave it to me and they'll be like give, no I don't want it either give it to the person who gave it to me before no no, no it should go back to them and uh, it it's amusing uh, oh we are here now that is probably not a good place for us to be Right. It could be another entire map. It could be a single chamber. If it's a single chamber, I don't want to go in there in this state of health. I want to get a few points back. Um, you know... What? Darkon is actually a bit badly damaged. <laughs> oh, it's only three points? Endure. Right. Darkon. In enduring, grow strong. You have my full permission, mate. Okay, now I'm relatively comfortable going in. Let's at least try clear out this mausoleum or mortuary before we... Oh, hello, here we are, yes. Strahan Runsharan. Strahan sounds somewhat Middle Eastern, uh, sort of Eastern European, doesn't it? You see a mid-sized man in long robes of deep black. His hair is neatly coiffed, and an impeccably trimmed goatee complements his handsome features. Noticing your arrival, he puts down the book he was writing in and strides confidently over to you, smiling. Impressive. I must admit I never thought you would make it this far. Uh, ooh. Okay, so that's straight up antagonization. This, I might get a little more information out of him first. I'm glad to have disappointed you. Are you the one responsible for all the walking dead? Who I am is of no consequence to you. What I want is the question that should con what I want is the question that should concern you most. As he speaks, he looks you up and down as if somehow fascinated by you. <laughs> Doesn't interest me, I'm here to kill you. Very well. What do you want, since you seem so eager to tell me? <laughs> It'd be funny if he then goes, No, 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 I'm not telling. He takes a step back and cocks an eyebrow. I want your blood. Um, is that some kind of threat? The man starts to answer, but stops himself abruptly. An evil smile spreads across his face, and I didn't finish reading that. Damn it, where'd it go? 
Where'd it go? An evil smile spreads across his face and he begins to laugh and I cut it off. What? Oh my, okay. Yes, I suppose it is. He continues to laugh even harder at his own private joke. <laughs> you notice that his hands have begun to move at his sides. Slowly they flip back and forth, tracing intricate patterns in the air and I... That was a finish, it wasn't that at all. So, hey, skeleton, get whacked. I hear your words. Cast a spell! Rain of anger in his face. What's that? Mort! Taunt him. Taunt him. She has the personality of a pet. It worked! Twice as ugly. We taunted the wizard! You keep bashing him. What's the word, Chief? Mort. Hit the skeleton. I, I don't think we can taunt these. They're just like dead. I will hear you. Hey, did you cast that spell? Hmm. Huh. Oh, one. That's a combat spell, isn't it? Smack his face in! Okay, nameless one. You do what Mort normally does. Run like a bugger. Hope you don't trigger any traps. You haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> well, you say that, but I don't believe you. In all things. What's up? More? Get him! Nameless one, can you hide? That'd be really stupid. I'm gone. Nope, you failed to hide. Oh, did they all just all die? When the necromancer dropped? That's amazing. Well, let's take his stuff. Let's nick it. Scroll of Ice Knife. That's a spell. So, magic users can learn spells and put them in their spell books. Uh, bronze bracelet. Yeah, right. Uh, bracelet. A magical bracelet, though. You know what, more? Have a pebble. You're not a skeleton, but I'm sure you'll appreciate You're not a zombie, but I'm sure you'll appreciate a pebble. And this looks interesting. We should definitely try and identify these. Um, in which case, actually... Should have used one of the bone charms. Um, yeah, I really should. Where was this identifying charm I had? It wasn't the dirty rat charm. It wasn't the ornate box. Oh, it was this, wasn't it? Um, Maybe use them quick at a menu on the world screen. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do that now. Because I think I have earned this. I don't think I'm gonna come across any more magic items for a while. So. And then quickly, because I don't know how long it's gonna last. Okay, what have I got? The Rule of Freeze Earring. You received this small earring fr from folding a note in the mouth of one of the walking corpses in the mortuary. It's a beautiful earring, but despite its beauty, all it seems to do is remind you of how strange this world you've woken up in is. This earring carries a minor blessing from one of the gods of wealth on some backwater prime world. When held in the hand and the word copper is whispered, it gives the wearer 33 copper commons. This blessing can be used three times before the enchantment is exhausted. Now, if I had paid a, a shopkeeper 100 copper to identify this for me, I could have got back most of the money. But since I got a two for one deal here for a magic item, that's good. Major's guard. Usable only by mages. Armor class 6. Hey, it's a Bracer of Armor class 6. Considered standard equipment for any adventuring mage, bracelets such as these can be found across the plains. Judging by the markings on this particular bracelet, it appears to have been made in a style quite common in sigil. Various glyphs of warding are meticulously carved along the surface, producing an almost hypnotic effect when looked at. 
When worn, this bracelet protects the wearer from normal attacks as if they were wearing scale armour. I will keep this. If I become a magic user, I will have the Magus Guard and a scroll of Ice Knife to learn and put in a spellbook as well. A leg bone club. Fragile breakable. Okay, so I shouldn't use that then. I was going to compare it to the crowbar to see if it was better. Well, I should definitely be searching for traps right. around here because there might be some things I can interact with, like that. Or this, you know, because a skull. Okay, it's got to be done. Mort. Sure, why not? Meet your relative. Have a skull to carry around. Yeah, Mort. Carry a skull in your skull. I'm sure you'll work out a way to do it. And Mort's like, Yeah, whatever. Don't tell me what to do. I'll just magically carry this around, shall I? It's just, you know, same size as me, same weight as me. Is it? Well, you managed it. Shut up. And that it is one is I. Like, your will be done. It is not known to this one. Oh, that's right. I got... Yeah, I had an Ian Glenn voice for him, didn't I? It is not known to this one how he manages to carry a skull his own size within his inventory. He has no pockets. Okay, I'm going to try I'm just gone. in case it's trapped, but I should look at this. This all looks like very important stuff. Four things to pick up. Right. Uh, Mort. I can have a bone to go with that skull. Um... I have a jar of embalming fluid. Yeah, there we go. And actually, I can put this corpse flight charm up here. It gives me three slots, so I just need... Hate to do this to your deck on, but can you carry that for a bit? Thanks. Strahan's Dari, Scroll of Strength. A magical dagger. Which I could have identified if I hadn't used that charm, and a scroll of Chromatic Orb. Chromatic Orb is a spell that I don't believe existed in 2nd edition at the time that this game came out, so it may be a new creation of this game. Magical Dagger, I'll have to get that identified somewhere. Scroll of Ice Knife, level 2 spell. Uh, scroll of strength. strength is level 2. Chromatic Orb is level 1, interestingly enough. Okay. Um, long of the debates about the spectrum of colour in the multiverse. This blue is better than yellow. Pike it, Burke. Of course white is the true colour. And while in the end many generally agree that a colour's greatness is in the eye of the beholder, this spell establishes the fact that some colours are deadlier than others. This summons a large magical orb of colour which can then be hurled at a target using the caster's normal attack roll plus three. The colour of the orb changes depending on the caster's level, so it starts white, red, orange, yellow, green. Turquoise before blue is an intermediary, interesting enough, then violet and black. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a leveled single target magic missile. Interesting. And as you can see now I start picking up and collecting spells which are going to make me lean more towards of a magic user side of things. Oh, I should look at Strahan's diary before we leave as well. Where is it? Come on, I've picked it up. It can't have gone... F there we go. This leather-bound tome is cracked and worn with age. Some sort of crest has been burned into the cover. You can make out that a series of interlocking triangles centred around the initials S.R. Strahan... I can't remember what his surname was. Although it could be like a TSR reference. It also, Strahan looks something a bit like Strad von Zarevich. Right. S.R. could also be like a reference to one of the module series. I'm not sure. The writing upon its pages has faded considerably, but the last few entries seem to have been penned recently. Day 2 of the 127th year of the Factal Hashgar's reign. At last, I have found it! 
the missing page of the Aptarge Grimoire is now in my possession. As I had guessed, the page detailing the necessary components for the casting of the final transformation spell. I have all but one of the components. A drop of an immortal's blood is all that stands between me and the eternal power of lichdom. But where can I find such a rarity? Perhaps I should seek the answer through divination. Day 14 of the 127th year of Factal Hashkar's reign. After days of taxing divination spells, I finally have my answers. The divination revealed the location of an immortal to be somewhere within an ancient mausoleum located in the hive section of Sigil. I must make haste. I must find this creature and draw its blood before it moves on. Day 15 of the 127th year of Factal Hashkar's reign. I have arrived at the mausoleum. Immediately I was set upon by a shade that guards the remains of those interred within this place. I managed to elude the spirit and find my way into what appears to have been some sort of inner sanctum. Protected by some minor wards to prevent any further interruptions by that supernatural twit, I have set about raising some of the locals to conduct a search for the immortal. If the divination is accurate and the immortal is here, then likely it is interred within one of the many crypts that line these halls. It is only a matter of time now. Day 17 of the 127th year of Factal Hashkar's reign. I am not alone. Someone has entered the mausoleum and is interfering with my servants. Could this be the one I seek? The divination revealed only that I would find the immortal here. Could it be that my presence in this place has prompted that which I seek to seek me out? What a delightful twist! I shall have to... The ink on this last entry is still wet. I believe we have a guardian spirit to go and see. Oh, and there he is. As you step into the corridor, the guardian spirit materializes before you. Its ghostly countenance regards you benevolently. I thank you once again. Go in peace, friend. The apparition fades away, leaving you alone in the deserted halls of the mausoleum. Updated my journal. I'm gone. Well, let's leave. That was a nice bundle of experience. Uh, I believe that's probably split between us. If it was each... I think it was each. That's intriguing. No, it wasn't, because Mort wasn't 10,400, so... Um, Earlier in this, so he's gone a bit. So, yeah, split three ways, that's about 600 each, which means about 150 each to his two classes there. That's all right, though. All right, that's a lot of experience points. And, um, the Darkon spell has got to run off eventually, right? His power of one spell, I don't remember what it does. Darkon? Ah, extra strength, um, oh this was like, uh, I can't remember what this spell should be called, it's like, it's not heroism or something, I don't think it's, is it basically a strength spell? 30 minutes per level, okay, so, 90 minutes of game time, awesome. Quite a while then. So he is pumped up and ready to go, because yes, back in 1st and 2nd edition, spells actually had durations, so you'd be like, I'm going to cast this strength spell on the fighter so he can help us carry all this heavy treasure back to town. Instead of like in 3rd edition where spells became like blink and it's gone, you know, blink and you missed it, flash, bang, Disney special effects, there's the strength spell, it's going to last for like one round per level. Yeah. Because otherwise people would be like, hey, we're going to cast a strength spell and it will last for two or three combat encounters in a row. It's like, hey, you could just... Things, you know. Done. But hey, we've done well. We've cleared out a crypt of intruders. We're going to go back to the Gathering Dust Bar and 
talk to the dustman who hired us, but I think that's something that can probably wait till the next episode, whenever I finally get to record that. But I should probably head inside just so I don't forget it. I hope you have all enjoyed this episode, and I will certainly look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!